guys, it's Deborah, and welcome back to the channel. So I have received so many DMs, so many messages, so many comments over on YouTube wanting to know how I use my mini dash waffle maker to make some of the pancakes that I do post over on my Instagram account and I have shared a few with um, you here in a couple of my videos. So I wanted to share with you how I go ahead and make those. So if you want to see how I do that, just keep on watching. But before we hop into this video, please do me a favor, click on that little red subscribe button down below. I'd love for you to subscribe and be part of my family. Also, don't forget to click on that notification bell, that way you're notified every time I upload a video. And one last thing, don't forget to share. I don't mind if you share my videos, share them with whoever needs some inspiration, some motivation, some meal ideas. I don't mind. All right, now let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so let's start off with the pancake. So the pancake, I typically would make my own. Um, I do have a cook with me video on it. It's the blueberry ones. Obviously, I would just omit the blueberry. Uh, but I do purchase these as a convenience. It's what it's for for me. It's convenience. Sometimes I don't have the time. I'm running around, we have late meetings, and I get home, I forgot to get something out, and you know what, who doesn't love breakfast for dinner? So I always turn to these, I'll get this, I usually buy whatever is readily available for me. They're both not the greatest on its own, like I doctored these up tremendously. <laughs> this one has a little bit of a better taste on its own because it is already sweetened with a little bit of stevia. This one is not. So that's what this video is. I'm just going to go ahead and make two batches. I'm going to make two different kinds of pancakes and probably a McGriddle and show you how I make it. Um, we'll, we're going to start with the birch benders. Um, serve, serve sweet. I don't have enough to make like a full batch. I just wanted to show you that I do use this. But today I'm going to be working with birch benders because a lot of you um, have purchased this. A lot of you have had concerns and said that it's pricey. And yeah, it is pricey. I typically pick this up when it's on sale, like two for ten. Um, and a lot of you said that you're not that crazy about the taste. And I get it. If you have the time to make your own, that's great. If not, just doctor it up just like anything else. I'm not here saying buy prepackaged, but for me, this is something that I just like to keep in my pantry for days that I don't have the time. Remember, you guys do you, okay? I know you guys don't like a lot of talking, so let's hop into this video. So I'm going to go ahead and um, make four pan pancakes. So the mix calls for a uh, two-thirds cup of the mix and a half a cup of water. That's it. So we're going to go ahead and mix it up and then I'll show you what I'm putting in there to doctor it up. So these are some of the extracts that I typically would use in there. I do like to put a little bit of extract just to give it a little bit of that flavor. I'll be using cake batter. I use cake batter in a lot of things. Um, I first started using this in my egg loaf and I absolutely love it. So Love it. So for this batch, I am going to be using cake batter, but I have used in the past maple, and maple I'll use in the second batch today. Um, I have made banana pecan pancakes as well. I'll go ahead and insert a picture of that. I have also done a banana pecan coconut mix as well. So these are some of the extracts. As you can see, I do have a lot here that I like to play around with. Um, I do want to try one-on-one -on -one flavors. I hear that they're amazing, and um, I definitely want to give those a try. Start ordering a couple of packs at a time. All right, so in this mixture, I already have the half cup of water, and then I have two-thirds cup of the mix. I already have that in the bowl. I'm going to add in just a little bit of cake batter, probably two teaspoons. I just like the flavor of it. And then I am going to go ahead and add in some sweetener. My sweetener of choice these days is monk fruit. I really like it. But you can also play around with the sweeteners as well. Um, sometimes I even use this better stevia that I love in my coffee. Um, but it is a coconut flavor. So when I do like the banana coconut pancakes, this is what I would use. I'm telling you, you can doctor this up so many different ways. 
So for the sweetener, again, you guys, everything is by taste. If you want it sweet, if you don't want it sweet, it's up to you. I do about a tablespoon of the sweetener for the batch. And then I just mix it all up. I let the batter sit for a few minutes, and while it sits, I go ahead and turn on my mini dash waffle and griddle maker. So obviously you just make sure everything is incorporated. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the mini grill and waffle maker to heat up and be ready. Um, and then you guys know, you should already know that I absolutely love using avocado oil. You can use coconut oil. Um, I love using avocado oil because it is, uh, the smoke point is 500 degrees and it has no taste and it's a healthy fat. So let's go ahead. And spray these up and I'm going to make one of each I had purchased the griddle on accident but I'm glad that I kept it because it's so versatile you can use it for pretty much anything Now I'm just going to go ahead and close those up and let them cook away. They usually take about three to five minutes. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Beautiful. All right, so both of those are done for sure. I'm going to go ahead and take them out and then go ahead and start the next two. So for this one, I'm going to add just a little bit of the maple pecan syrup, just because I want to try to make it like a little McGriddle. So let me just add just a little bit, just to give it that maple leaf flavor. I know I added the sweetener, the monk fruit. Oops, let me close this guy. This stuff, Chalk Zero, is so delicious. It's so good. I just added a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it in. I recently had a giveaway on Instagram for a Chalk Zero gift card. I partnered up with them. Um, so if you don't follow me there, make sure you head over there because I'll probably do something else for my Ketoversary next month. Perfect, now I'm gonna go ahead and let these cook. All right, so while that second half batch cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and make up my second batch of pancake mix. Again, I did two thirds cup of the mix. I added in my sweetener. Here goes in my half cup of water. See how easy it is, I mean, when you don't have time. And then for this one, I am gonna be using the maple extract because I am gonna be making those pigs in a blanket with the sausage inside. So I do want to give it that maple flavor. I did, again, about two teaspoons. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up. So just make sure this is well incorporated and then let it sit for a couple of minutes. And by then, the other two will be finished cooking. And I can show you how I make the pigs in a blanket. Okay, these should be done. Perfect. And that looks That's good. So I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the maker and then start in on my so pigs and this blanket. next batch, obviously, it's just going to be the griddle. I'm going to spray it a little bit. I'm going to put just a little bit of the batter on the bottom, just a little bit. Right here where my little sausage is going to go. I already have my cooked sausage. I cooked those while I made the first batch and then added my pancake batter. And now I'm going to go ahead and close that up. So what I did was I bought the Bob Evans all natural pre-shaped sausages. I think there's like eight in a pack. All I did was open that up. 
I flattened them out a little bit because they're kind of thick and I cooked them up. That was it. So this is smelling really, really delicious. You could definitely smell that maple extract. And look how beautiful that looks. Doesn't that look beautiful? I mean, you could see where the sausage is at. But how easy and fun. And I think it's an inexpensive way to keep things fun in the kitchen. So now I'm gonna go ahead and continue to make the rest. Just gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit, just where the sausage is gonna sit. It's already pre-cooked. And then just add in the pancake batter. And this will still get you about four. Also, I never provide macros because I never know what exactly you're using, but if you use Carb Manager, the Carb Manager app, I always use the free version. You put in your recipe and it'll tell you the macros or you can scan in the barcode of all the things that you're using and it'll tell you the macros. So while those continue to cook, I wanted to show you some of the syrups that I do have in my pantry. I don't eat these every day. I only eat them once in a while when I'm making some ice cream or usually with like pancakes. So I love Chalk Zero, I really do. I think it tastes so good. I've tried other sugar-free sweetener or syrups and I'm not a fan. Um, so my favorite flavors are the maple pecan. This is like my favorite next to chocolate. You can use this in coffees, you can use this in an ice cream. I mean, whatever you would use chocolate sauce for, you can use this for. Um, of course, I have maple. Maple is really good. And these aren't just for me. Like, this is now what we use in the house. So if you come over and I make pancakes, whether they're keto or not, this is the kind of syrup that you're going to get. Um, I absolutely love the strawberry syrup. I made those strawberry cupcakes. I'll link that video if you haven't seen it. And I drizzled some of this on there. Um, I do have the coconut, so when I make banana coconut pancakes, I do add in a little bit of this coconut syrup. It's so delicious. And then I did buy the vanilla. I haven't used this flavor yet, but I did purchase that. Um, and then I have another order coming. I've never had their peach. I just ordered their peach. Um, and they say that you can use it to rim like a, a glass of iced tea with, um, just to give it that nice peach flavor. But I'll play with that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you the syrups that I have, that I love and that I always use and everybody uses and people don't even know the difference. These are some of the toppers that I do use. I do use Lolly's Low Carb Granola. This is the peanut butter macadamia. This is really good. I just They just had a sale, buy two, get two free. So I have another batch coming and then the cinnamon pecan crunch is my favorite favorites. I love this on yogurt, on pancakes, on ice cream, on just whatever. It's delicious. Look them up online. Lolly's Low Carb Granola. Of course, when I make my nieces, I don't really like chocolate chip pancakes. My nieces do, but I'll always use the Lilies. Um, I ran out of milk chocolate, but that's usually what I use for them. Or if I'm out, obviously I'll use just the dark. Uh, when I'm making banana nuts, I'll throw in some pecans, some walnuts, some of this dried coconut on top as a topper. So delicious. Of course, nuts, any kind of nuts that you have, walnuts and pecans and macadamia nuts are usually in my house. And today I'm using pecans. Look at that, the second one. How perfect is that? Gorgeous. For these, you got to make sure that you cook them well. If not, they will tear. So make sure you leave them in there for a good amount of time. And you want to be gentle with them. So I am going to go ahead and make a McGriddle with egg. So I'm going to cook an egg in here. I don't know if you guys have tried that before. I have. So I'm going to go ahead and cook an egg. Okay, so for the egg, depending on how you want it, it takes, again, just like three to four or five minutes, depending on how, if you want it easy, if you want it medium, if you want it hard. And typically the yolk is in the middle, but that's all right. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do one more egg, and this time I'll show it to you scrambled. So I'll go ahead and add in the scrambled. I just wanted to show you, you could do it both ways, add in whatever seasonings you want. 
So remember, eggs do rise. I've showed it before. I've said it before. So it'll rise up a little bit, but of course it always deflates back down. All right, this took about three minutes, and it's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get my McGriddle together and continue cooking my other sausage pigs in a blanket. The uh, McGriddle, you saw me make the egg. You could put your slice of cheese. I always liked McGriddles. I just didn't like it with the cheese. Sometimes I wouldn't even make it with the egg. So make it however you want to make it, guys. Just thought I'd share something a little fun in the kitchen. I